Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout 3, where we have finally left the vault behind. We managed to escape unharmed and we have now entered the capital wasteland, which does indeed look like a wasteland. And I would like to see this um, during the day, so can I... Um, okay, yeah, I can... Uh, skip time until morning So it's about 10 p.m. Now let's skip maybe eight hours until 6 a.m. That should be enough. Hopefully All right, here we go now we can actually see something it still might be slightly before sunrise because um, I'm not seeing a sun anywhere. Oh well, actually I do. It's over there at the horizon behind a misty cloud of dust. Okay, so we have some buildings here that are semi-intact. We got some highway ruins over here and well, some kind of obelisk is at the Washington Monument and that's like the capital, I guess. <laughs> but okay, um, there's lots of uh, stuff for me to explore. However, um, I think the first thing that I should do is uh, go to Megaton and get my bearings. I mean, I got all of these quests, but I think they're all um, DLC, so I will postpone them for a while. Now, it looks like I don't actually have to go far, so yeah, I think this should be the first order of business. Maybe find some people to talk to, and after that we can just head out and explore a little bit. So yeah, let's do this. Also, um... Can I, like, have a good look at her now, <laughs> during the daylight? Alright, alright. She actually turned out pretty good, after all. I'm mostly happy that I managed to create a character that doesn't look like my other Fallout character. <laughs> Since, you know, it's the same character creator, but she definitely looks different, so I'm happy with that. Um... Right. Galaxy News Radio Signal found. Yeah, I know that there's like radio stuff. We had that in the previous game as well, but if all that the radio does is play music, I prefer to not turn it on. Because we will just get copyright claims on my uh, video. Oh well, apparently the water is radioactive. Okay. Um, I will stay away from it. Okay. I have to um, remember how to use this navigation bar down here. Also, this place is kind of hard to navigate in general because it's very, you know, rocky. And very uneven. But at least at the time it looks safe. I'm not seeing enemies. I do see like potential friendly people over here. Yep, there's people over here. Oh, a robot that is. Deputy Weld, welcome to Megaton. Oh, so this is Megaton? Anyway, can I talk Head to you? Y'all <laughs> enjoy your stay, pal. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Have yourself okay, apparently he's a just nice repeating visit, the partner. same the same dialogue over and over There's again. Okay, but there's someone else around here. Mickey. Water? Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. I don't think I have any water. I'm sorry. What is this place? Some kind of city? 
Will any water do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any water to give you. No, find your own water. I have to go. Um, yeah, tell me more about the city. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Yes, quite Everyone's literally. heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. Of course. So, will any water do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, mm. I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. I'm pretty sure I don't have any water. Yeah, I'm sorry. But please, if you find some, please. If I find some, I will give it to you because I don't actually have to drink. At least not, you know, permanently. I mean, a bunch of crap lying around here. But okay, um, so have you tried to go into the city and Please ask for water, water or do they not let you go inside since... Thirsty, partner, <laughs> try Moriarty's coldest drinks in the capital wasteland. Yeah, I mean, this guy seems pretty welcoming. He even advertises the water inside the city, so... Okay, I can just open the gate. Well, um, I suppose that's what I will do. I'll be there. Another newcomer. <laughs> and who might you be? Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. Okay. I don't know why, but I like <laughs> you, girl. What? Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. You are very quick in your judgment, friend, but okay. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pfft, nice head, Calamity Chain. <laughs> Say nothing. I mean, he has been friendly enough so far, so yeah, I guess it's nice to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Also, what's wrong with the hat? I would totally wear that hat. <laughs> right, message received. You don't scare me. <laughs> he didn't really try to scare me. I feel I can be, like, needlessly belligerent here for no real reason at all, so <laughs> why would I want to do that? I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him, I could use some directions around town. Let's discuss this bomb. <laughs> know anything about the area outside Megaton? Tell me more about your town, I have to go. Okay, um, lots of questions. Let's uh, ask about my father first. Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. All right, I guess I will do it. So, could you give me some directions around town? Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Um, tell me about the next clinic. Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. <sighs> Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. Okay, um, and what about weapons? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. And is there a bar in town? Asking the important questions. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriority is not your friend, no matter what <laughs> he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. <laughs> well, um, thanks for the warning. Pretty ominous. Um, and do we have a general store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> at the crater side, I guess. <laughs> and where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. So basically, I have to go to Moira or Moriarty, and they basically run all the supply stores in this place. Okay, um, yeah, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Um, yeah, let's discuss the 
bomb. What about it? Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? Who would build a town around a bomb? That's crazy. Yes, it does seem a little bit crazy, especially if it's, you know, still armed. One day that thing is going to go off. We are living on borrowed time. <laughs> um, yeah, why don't you disarm that bomb? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. Okay. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. They worship Why? the bomb. You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I probably don't. Well, I may have at some point in this game. <laughs> I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Whatever, I don't plan on sticking around very long anyway. If that bomb ever explodes, it would do the world a favor. <laughs> I mean, I can have a look at it, but I doubt that I have the skills to do this. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. All right. Um, that sounds good to me. Speech 22%. Demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. Um, so I have a 22% chance of convincing him to give me more. But like I said, I doubt that I can disarm the bomb. I'm just fresh out of the vault. I'm 19. I don't think I have any specific expertise in uh, disarming bombs. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. 100 caps, all right, I'll take a look at it. Not my problem, good luck, Sheriff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I may as well try this. <laughs> Maybe at some point in the game I will be able to disarm the bomb. Not an option, <laughs> I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Fair enough. Um, okay, I guess I'll take a look at it. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. And there's a quest for disarming the bomb. And I mean, I have a good incentive to be careful because if that bomb goes off, I will die as well. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. I mean, I already asked him. He didn't really know anything about him, but sure, let's ask him again. Well, come to think of it, I do remember oh, a stranger well, coming suddenly? through here. I had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. <laughs> Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Yeah, you told me already. But apparently, now that I promised to help them with the bomb, he suddenly remembers that my father has been here. I'm not sure I can disarm the bomb. <laughs> and now I can just, you know, uh, reject the quest and not disarm the bomb. I mean, I haven't even looked at it, so I feel I should at least take a look at the bomb. Um, so, can you tell me anything about the area outside Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Well, I would be very surprised if I don't go to D.C. at some point in this game. So yeah, tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? Like, why is it built around a bomb? <laughs> Does the town have a doctor? No way I can get a drink. I mean, I have already asked this, have I not? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll <laughs> find him down in the plaza, at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the brass lantern. I know where I can get a drink. Yeah, maybe I can get some water for the guy outside. Sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits. Or, if you want something to eat, head over to the brass lantern. Okay, um, let's talk about something else. All right, shoot. Um, okay, that's really all I can ask, and I can tell him that I can't disarm the bomb, but like I said, I should at least take a look at it. So, uh, I guess I gotta go now. 
Don't fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't intend to blow up this place and myself with it. So um, I did get some update on my quests. Speak to Colin Moriarty about dead. Disarm Megaton's atomic bomb. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let's see if we can. You looking to trade, stranger? Talk to some other Check people. Check out crater side supply. I mean, we even have some signs over here. Welcome, saloon, sheriff, clinic, commons, luxury apartments. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how the luxury apartments in this place would look like. Oh, look at that. A Brahmin. Still looking weird as hell. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out though, she's different. Different? What does that mean? Okay, Moriarty Saloon. And yeah. Saloon. Saloon is over here. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. Open refrigerator, locked average. Well and drink the waters of the glow. I guess For this ancient How war is this the bomb? Is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past, and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, mm. my friends. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow. Burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Okay. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my <laughs> friends, come, drink with me. No, and please pray. don't drink the water. Glorious Adam, I mean, he wasn't joking. Apparently, some of these people these actually moments. worship the bomb. I present to your will this frail Confessor body. Cromwell. Yeah, he's standing like I right in the radioactive you, water. Can I talk to you without vessel. touching the water Guide if I can? To, who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. <laughs> I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church any time, any time at all. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't just leave a group of people led by an obvious nut job to join another group of people led by an obvious nut job, so <laughs> I think I'll pass on this offer. I could use some directions around town. Tell me about the Church of Atom. Have you ever traveled outside Megaton? What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the news I have to go? But at least I can ask him a bunch of questions. So let's do it. Um, I think I have some directions already, but maybe he can give me more information. In each our own way, we are all lost. <laughs> Where would you like to be, sister? Where I would like to be? Probably not here at the moment, but I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Where's the closest clinic? Um, sure, let's just ask all of it again. Atom can only heal the wounds of the soul. <laughs> For wounds of the body, you should see Dark Church. Right. His clinic is directly to the north of the church. Right. And weapons? It saddens me <laughs> to think how quickly we resort to violence. You worship a literal bomb. <laughs> and apparently he won't even give me directions to the weapons dealer. Um, anyway, what about a uh, general store? Seek out Moira at Craterside Supply. Although the true pilgrim relies on Atom <laughs> to supply all that he needs. Of course. Um, 
And yeah, that's all I can ask. I mean, I didn't actually ask this one, but I know that I have to go to uh, the same place that the other sheriff told me before. What do you wish to discuss? Um, okay. I, I will buy it. Tell me about the Church of Atom. Yes, what would you like to know? What do you believe? Why do you worship the bomb? What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Okay, what exactly do you believe? I will try to keep an open mind here. The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Okay, well, um, that is weird. And that's why you worship the bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. <laughs> so the bomb is basically just a symbol for Atom, who is almost kind of like a god in your religion. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Then again, if history has shown us anything, there's little that is too weird that people won't be uh, willing to believe it and worship it. So, okay. As long as you don't try to actively, you know, cause more more atomic explosions and kill people, I guess, um, that's fine. It's still really, really strange. I'm sorry. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. Anyway, let's talk about something else. As you wish. Um, do you accept donations? I don't think I have anything to give to you, but let's ask it anyway. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Oh, I can actually donate 10 caps, 50 caps, 100 caps. How many caps do I have? I don't know. So maybe I shouldn't give away my money um, just yet. Very well. <laughs> maybe uh, later. Um, I'd like to donate to the church. Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? Oh, that's a good question. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Okay. Bask in Atom's glow <laughs> and you will understand. I mean, Atom's glow quite literally kills and you will probably die an early death as well if you keep standing in that radioactive water, but okay. Um, yeah, tell me more about Megaton. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb. To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the <laughs> gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. No, no, that really makes any sense, but uh, whatever. What's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. 
Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course. Of course. Now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps. So they say. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, maybe I should find out more about that. Anyway, um, I guess I have to go. Raise shower <laughs> you, child. Please not. Please not. Okay. Um. Undetonated Behold, atomic bomb. He is yes. Coming with the clouds and every um. Now I guess that I will have to use a certain skill to actually do anything with that bomb. There we go. You lack the explosive skills needed to interact with a bomb. Explosive 25 or higher required. That isn't even that high. Um, so I may at some point actually reach that level. I didn't really invest a lot of stuff in my explosive skills the last time. But I mean, 25 is not unattainable. But um, I wouldn't be surprised that after that I have to pass like another skill check. So I feel just 25 explosives might not be enough. But okay, um, I will maybe invest some points into explosives later so we can take another look at this bomb. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to this lady over here if I can. Yes. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Um, what's on the menu? What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the water on town? So, yeah, what do you have on the menu? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, <laughs> but it'll keep you going. Well, at least you're not trying to overpromise. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't have any caps at all from the looks of it, but I mean, uh, I can probably sell some of my unneeded stuff to her. And I have quite a bit of it. You can have this, for example. You can have all the pre-war money. I don't think I need this. The eyeglasses don't really seem to do anything. Um... Okay, 88, yeah, more I won't be able to get from her anyway. Because that's all the money she has. Do you have any water that I can buy for the guy? As a matter of fact, I think I've already given her more than she's able to pay. There we go, 81. I guess that's fine. Um, I mean, she has Nuka Cola, but... No water, as far as I can tell. Right. There we go. I finally have my first Enjoy. bunch of caps. <laughs> so, what can you tell me about Megaton? Some people hate this place. But I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I mean, I can understand that. Then again, your shop is directly in front of an unexploded bomb. So I would maybe reconsider the safety part of uh, your sentence. But yeah, what's the word around town? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, <laughs> you know? Okay. Anyway, I guess I gotta go. Have a good one, stranger. Have Words a good one. Alright, um... Can't go inside here. And, sure, let's have a look around. I can steal a bunch of stuff. Oh, is oh, this like... come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. What? What did I do? Why are you so angry at me? Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Who's in charge around here? Can I see what's on the menu? What do you do for fun around here? <laughs> what can you tell me about Megaton? What's the word around town? Again, let's just ask all the questions. So who's in charge here? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but hmm. Lucas Sims is the law around here and everyone knows it. Yeah, and he doesn't like Moriarty, it seems. So I wonder why that is. 
Are they like in a competition on who is in charge in this place? But yeah, what's on the menu? Sure thing, little lady. What did you just call me? <laughs> and again, like I said, she's 19, right? So she probably uh, does look very young. You even have less caps than her, but I might be able to get some of your caps. <laughs> Let's see, eyeglasses, three caps, and there we go. Can I maybe get some water from you? I mean, vodka and whiskey. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can just give any other, you know, liquid to the person uh, outside. I feel that giving him, like, nuka cola would be fine as well, but, you know, video game logic <laughs> might demand water and nothing else. Um, okay, I guess that shall be fine. Come back anytime. So, what do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. <laughs> I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? So basically, there's nothing you can do for fun around here. <laughs> that's how I translate this. Anyway, what can you tell me about Megaton? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Okay, uh, fair enough. I guess that's all I need to know. No problem, buddy. And, um, what's the word around town? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Hmm. Let's keep them that way. Again, you sound kind of, I don't know, suspicious, kind of evasive and defensive as if you are trying to keep something from me. I'm not sure if I'm reading too much into this, but um, I guess that's all. No problem, buddy. And I guess I gotta go. See you soon. Um, okay, all the stuff in here is bunch of crap and I would have to steal it anyway. Yeah, um, we have something that requires a key. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, there's another one of the Stahl family. Look, I need to balance these books. If you'd like to order some food, please talk to Jenny or Leo. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, Andy. I just had a few questions. Yes, I need to ask all the questions to everyone that is uh, willing to put up with me. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Just make it quick. I could use some directions around town or anything about the area outside Megaton. What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the word around town? Basically all the same questions, but let's see. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Um, the clinic? You'll want to see Doc Church next to the crater. Take your time. They really wanted to make sure that you find all these uh, places in town because they gave like every NPC a dialogue with directions. That's interesting. Weapons dealer? Go see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. And the bar? Are you joking? Yes, there's a bar. The Brass Lantern. <laughs> it's easy to find, since you're standing in it. <laughs> okay, you got me here. Let's talk about something else. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. Yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. I mean, the other guy called this a restaurant, so I did realize that this is also the bar. So, know anything uh, about the area outside Megaton? Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. Everyone else I talked to so far were all like, oh, this place is fine, I mean, it's safe, and so on, and this is the first person who's like, I would be out of here if I could. So, what can you tell me about Megaton? It's a hole. A dead end. <laughs> 
So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. And can you actually spend that money on anything around here? Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Hm. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better <laughs> off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. Well, I mean, of course you would say that if he's like your competition. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Yeah, catch you later. Probably not. You seem to be very busy and also kind of rude. Um, oh dear. Where have I ended up now? I guess this is a place where you could sleep, potentially. Um, again, I don't really think I need to steal any of this stuff, especially since I don't know what's inside. No reason to lose any karma for a bunch of junk. All right. Um, it's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. It's funny that people get aggressive just for looking at their locked uh, boxes and whatnot. Um, okay, I think I'm good. Let's leave again. As a reminder of the division that has occurred in the He's past still preaching. And the resplendence of the promise of our Now, let's see. Um, yeah, we have some stuff going on up here, so maybe that's where we want to go next. Release yourself Assuming that all of these are just normal settlers. Yes, they are. And be divided. Okay, um, let's no see. Tears, no sorrows, no suffering. Also, can I go... Oh, this is a clinic. Well, I mean, I don't really need a doctor, but... I guess I may want to talk to him anyway. So, are you Doc Church? Yes, you are. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. Oh, dear. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched <laughs> up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Well, I'm not near dead. I'm not radiated. I need something to help me concentrate. I need to buy medical supplies. What can you tell me about Megaton? What do you do around here? What do you know about the people here? I have to go now. Um, I don't know. Can I even buy any supplies? Like I said, I don't have a lot of money. Yeah? What do you need? Okay, so Medexes, Redexes and Stimpaks. I do have a bunch of Stimpaks. I do have some Medexes. I don't think I have a Redex so far. So, uh, um... Again, I might be able to trade some crap for a Redex. Like some of this stuff that I probably don't need. I mean, I have a lot of these armor sets, so let's see. Okay, now that's enough for a Red X. And maybe I can even get two Red Xs. There we go. I will take it. You done? Good. Um, well, he specifically told me not to bother him, but of course I just can't help myself. I will ask him about Megaton. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes <laughs> that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. <laughs> I mean, that's not exactly glowing praise. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get it? Glowing praise because of the... You know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> apparently he doesn't mind if I ask him some questions. So what do you do around here? Well, he's a doctor. What do you think he does? I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. <laughs> okay, straightforward. 
And what do you know about the people around here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. All right, fair enough. I'm only trying to help, Doc. Hmm. Hmm. Now I wonder if I just ignore the speech option for now and return later, once I have increased my speech a bit more, will this maybe yield some result? Or will I lose the speech option if I don't use it? I probably can just ask him the question again, right? So maybe I'm not going to use this option now because um, the odds are not in my favor. Right. Um, I need something to help me concentrate. What does she mean by that? Great. Another oh, I junkie. See. In case you haven't <laughs> noticed, this is a clinic, not a candy store. And I've got work to do. Okay, so I can get drugs around here. I mean, we had them in uh, New Vegas as well. So if you got someone in town with a drug habit, a place like this is probably crowding with junkies, huh? Ah, huh, figures. A shithole like this would have a local cam head. Yeah, apparently I'm not the first one asking this, huh? I'm afraid that goes against patient-doctor <laughs> confidentiality. Yeah, at some point I probably need to come back here once I have higher speech skills. I'm a doctor myself. Um, yeah, that he probably won't believe. Nice try. Maybe if you actually had some medical training, we could talk about it. Um, right. So I guess I will maybe come back later and see if I can uh, still use that speech check <laughs> uh, once I have uh, higher speech skills. Let's leave for now. Try to be careful. Can't make any promises about that. Um... Well, what were you saying about all the um, patients you have to take care of? I don't see any patient around here. Clinic medical supplies. I mean, that is certainly a bit more tempting. But again, it needs a key which I probably won't find. Oh, what is this? A holotape. Note added. Wanted. Trustworthy surgeon. <laughs> I mean, the holotape was not restricted, so I figured let's have a look at it. Is this actually something I can take a look at? Yes. Hey, Doc. I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, the rumors are true. They're called androids. Hmm. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Do you huh. know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? That is fascinating. I wonder if that mercenary that was mentioned earlier, the one that doesn't sleep, is an android. Lost children of the waste, rejoice. Atom presents to you a chance to redemption. The Church of the Children of Atom offers you a chance to participate in, key, in the keeping of Atom's sacred city of Megaton. We accept currency which shall be used to keep this holy place as pure and as safe as possible. Rays shine upon wayward children of the waste, Confessor Cromwell. I mean, now I actually have some money to donate and, I don't know, maybe this will yield something. Um, again, this is something about one of my DLCs, I guess, so I won't bother to <laughs> uh, read this now. And apparently the password for the Overseer Terminal is just a martyr. I probably could have guessed that one. Alright, well, um, okay, here we go. That actually gives me a quest. Neat. Um, anyway guess I'll be off again. Oh, you actually do have some uh, patients. They're just in a different room. Can't talk to them. So I guess I'm just going
going to leave again. And I guess I will try to get up here. This is just a normal settler. The Church of the Children of Atom. Um, okay, is this like the actual church building? I guess I will have a look around in this place as well. Um, okay, I can go down here because apparently all the people are downstairs. You are just a normal person, okay. Lucy West, okay, we have some people with names. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I am new in town, indeed. Sure I am. Stopped in to find something to do. None of your business, maybe. Who wants to know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm new in town. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I mean, if it gets me some caps, then I might be interested because I will need money sooner or later. <laughs> Sure, why not? Nope, sorry. A job usually means I get paid. I'll need some details before I can decide. Yes, please, give me more details. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. <laughs> what does that mean? I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll okay. tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Also, I'm not technically a wastelander because I just left the vault. Um, I mean, she did say that I would get paid, so sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. All right. Lucy's sealed envelope. And that's another quest. Um, yeah, can you give me some information about that place? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. So, where exactly is Arifu? Arifu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Alright, and do you suspect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. <laughs> Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. I understand. So who else lives in Arifu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Okay, well, um, that's actually more detailed information than I expected. Um, so, is there anything dangerous around there that I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, <laughs> raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. <laughs> if this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay, fair enough. Alright, um, I guess that's all. Okay. So, what's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Well, that's a new name that I haven't heard before. Anyway, I guess that's all. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Right. Okay, so we are collecting our first side quests here. But since the episode is getting long enough, I'm going to make a cut here and we will continue to look around this place and talk to some people and, you know, just see what we can find. But for now, Let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.